and we're back. In today's video, although it's going to be a little bit short, I'm going to move around some of the cars you can see behind us. Not the charger though, because it doesn't have a starting motor on it at the minute. But we'll get to that later. And as you can see, a few cars here still, but I've got a chunk of space. Now I need to put something in that space. So what I'm going to do in order to make life easier for myself so I can work on more stuff, I'm going to move things around a bit. Starting with the Ranchero, which is going to come up here. So the first thing I need to do is charge the battery on the Mondeo. Because now the next thing we're going to do is connect the battery on the Ranchero, which isn't flat. Is the battery connected good enough for now? I can get it fired up and put that cover over it just so it doesn't short out on the metal on the metal work there. Right, let's go go and get it started now.
Well, that's all the cars moved, guys. So I've got the Mustang back at the bottom of the drive. Mondeo's moved out a bit. Ranchero's up here. Now, problems that were found out whilst I was moving things around were well, the Mondeo, on account of how long it stood. I don't know if you made it out on the camera or not with all the engines running, but the two back wheels seem to have seized on and they're on disc brakes. So I need to free off the brakes on the back wheels. I didn't park it with the handbrake on, so it hasn't been sitting with the handbrake on. Never do that when I leave a car standing for a while. But the Ranchero, you may have seen us checking something at the back of the engine there. That was the transmission fluid. So I was checking that to see what the levels were on it. Because the last time I drove the Ranchero, the gearbox started slipping. So I was hoping it would be low on fluid or out of fluid. Having checked it a few moments ago, as you saw, it appears it is low on fluid. There's only very little bit on the bottom. So hopefully I'll get some fluid for that, top it all up. That will show it, sort out any problems, and get it back running as it should. Now I've put a fuel filter on, a new fuel filter on, when I got it to get it running. But as you can see, it's sucked something up from the tank or something up from somewhere. So that's going to need another fuel filter so I need to order some more fuel filters and then it's, it's not running right so the carb one's looking at I'm thinking maybe there's some vacuum pipes off or some vacuum leaks somewhere we'll get those sorted out for now though that's everything moved where I need it to be so let's take the battery off now obviously if I'd been taking this out on the road I would have tightened that up properly but as I was just moving it around the drive it didn't seem much point in going to the trouble of tightening it all up just to move it a few feet. But that's the Ranchero parked up. The charger's a bit more a bit easier to access now. Mondeo's got a couple of issues I need to sort out. And then we can get in everything else. That's gonna do it for this video though guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Bye for now.